In this time I will show you how to make a beautiful gorgeous flowers with seed beads. Also I will show you how to make such beautiful stamens. These flowers consist of six small petals and six big petals. For demonstration I have done the exact flowers without seed beads. Let's begin the work. For work you need a ball of yarn, crochet hook and seed beads. Before the work with red seed beads onto the working yarn. Seed beads are large, transparent and not outright. Begin the work by making a chain of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch on the beginning of this round. The ring is ready. Begin the first round. It will be a round of single crochet stitches. For this make chain to bring up the yarn. Make 24 single crochet into the ring. 1 2 3 4 5 and so on. Continue working in this way till you will get 24 single crochet. I have done 24 single crochet into the ring. To complete this round make a slip stitch into the first single crochet. I skip the chain stitch on the beginning of this round and make a slip stitch into the first single crochet. Round 1 is made. Next round will be a round of stamens. For this make a chain to bring up the yarn. Single crochet into the stitch that we have just worked it into. Chain. Draw 5 seed beads. Take the working yarn, pull it through. Three single crochet around the chain. One. Two. Three. Then single crochet through the next stitch. The first stamen. The first stamen is ready. Begin the second one. Single crochet through the next stitch. Chain. Draw 5 seed beads, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, take the working yarn, pull it through, Three single crochet around the chain. One, two, three. 
three. Then single crochet into the next stitch. The second stamen is ready. Then single crochet through the next stitch. And so on. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. In total it should be 12 of them. I have done 12 stamens. Work a slip stitch into the first single crochet Round 2 is made Begin the third round It is going to be a round of It is going to be a round of petals Chain of six to bring up the yarn one, two, three, four, five, six. A chain of five for the chain space one, two, three, four, five. Then yarn over the hook four times. Skip the next stitch. And make triple treble crochet stitch into the second stitch. Insert the hook into the second stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two loops five times. One, two, three, four, five. The base for the first petal is ready. Make 8 single crochet around the triple treble crochet stitch 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Single crochet into the next stitch Two more the work Skip the first stitch and single crochet into the second stitch Then half double crochet Then double crochet, then two double crochet into the next stitch, one, two. Treble crochet twice into each of next two stitches, one, Continue Double treble twice into each of next two stitches one and two.
Donor the work. Continue the work. Draw seed beads. Work into the back loops. Make a chain. Then yarn over the hook with seed bead. Insert the hook into the back loop. Pull up a loop of through two loops. Pull through all loops on the hook to finish half double crochet. Continue. Make half double crochet into the each back loop till the end of this row. Like this. Make half double crochet into the each back loop of next stitch. Continue working this way till the end of this row. I have done half double crochet with seed bead. Then single crochet into the next stitch. Chain. Don't turn the work. Insert the hook into the previous stitch by making reverse single crochet and make reverse single crochet into the each stitch of the previous row. Make the last one. Then make reverse single crochet through the next stitch. Turn the work. Make seven single crochet into the double treble crochet stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make three single crochet into the next chain space. One, two, three. Turn the work. Chain. Three single crochet. One. Two, three, chain of five for the chain space. One, two, three, four, five. Make triple treble crochet stitch into the stitch that we have already worked it into. Yarn over four times. 
insert the hook into the stitch that we have already worked it into pull up a loop, pull through two loops five times one two three four and five the base for the next petal is ready I did small petal now I show you how to make big one make eight single crochet around the triple treble crochet stitch one two three four five six seven and eight insert the hook into the next stitch by making single crochet turn the work we skip this stitch insert the hook into the next stitch by making single crochet then half double crochet through the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch make two double crochet through the next stitch one two two treble crochet through the next stitch one two and double treble crochet stitch into the same stitch two double treble crochet stitches one two and triple treble crochet stitch into the same stitch make triple treble crochet stitch through the next stitch and two quadruple treble crochet stitches one and two towards the work the big petal is ready make half double crochet with seed beads make a chain draw seed beads yarn over the hook with seed bead and work with back loops one 
two, three, four, and so on. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I have done half double crochet with seed beads, single crochet into the next stitch. Make a chain and reverse single crochet into the each stitch. I will be making reverse single crochet till the end of this row. I have done reverse single crochet. Let's make reverse single crochet into the last stitch. Then reverse single crochet into the chain stitch. Turn the work. Make 9 single crochet into the quadruple treble crochet stitch. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 Make 3 single crochet into the chain space 1 2 3 Turn the work Chain 3 single crochet 1 2 3 chain of 5 for the chain space 1 2 3 4 5 and triple treble crochet stitch into the stitch that we have already worked it into Keep working in this way till the end of this round. It should be 6 big petals and 6 small petals. I have done 6 small and 6 big petals. As you remember, we begin the work from the small petal before I made 6 chains. The last chain space is secured into the 6 chain stitch. I have done 3 single crochet and stop here. To complete the work, make a slip stitch into the chain stitch of the chain space. The flower is made. This is chain space. I remind you, the last chain space is secured into the 6th chain stitch. Let's look at the back side of the flower. 
This flower has six small and six big petals. I add a bit to the center. For more video tutorials, please visit our website shareknitting.com. For demonstration, I have done the exact flower without seed beads. Thanks for watching. We are pleased to inform you that we have opened membership service on our website. Membership includes an access to the video tutorials, which are published every week. Only at sharonitin.com and only for members. For more detailed information, please visit the membership page at sharonitin.com. Thanks for watching.